Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here coming at you with a video on XL candies because XL candies are basically required now for, not required, but it helps substantially in Great League, Ultra League, and Master League uh, for PvP. So you need to know how you get them. I'm going to give you, give you my tips and tricks on how I get uh, XL candies that I've been using to evolve all these, all, all these Pokemon recently. So the first one is a very, very, very obvious one that people obviously don't do a lot of, and I didn't do it back in the day, is catch everything. So basically what I did, I used to not catch everything. I used to just kind of, if it was something like this where I already had hundreds and hundreds of, I would just not catch it. But you need to catch everything for two reasons. One, uh, dust. Each of these are 100 dust minimum, and to evolve everything and power them up costs a lot of dust. So just catch everything. The second thing is um, there's a chance for XL candy when you catch them. And if not, it's going to be, uh, I think, my fourth tip on trading. I'll talk about trading in a minute. Uh, but 274 candies, that's already pretty high. So I can just transfer this one because uh, this one is not that important. But yeah, catch everything. Um, even if you don't think it's meta, like Sfield, Sfield had the community day to wall rain which went from like super non-meta to super meta in Great League Ultra League and somewhat Master League. So you just need to catch everything, get that dust, get those XL candies. But there's also sort of like other tips and tricks for catching stuff, starting with Mega Evolutions. So for those of you who, so Ninetix has done a lot of bad things, but the one thing they actually fixed is Mega Evolutions. So right now I've got my Mega Gyarados going. And so what you're gonna see here is while Gyarados is Mega Evolved, you'll earn extra candy, earn extra XP, and have an increased chance of receiving candy XL when you catch water or dark type Pokemon, because that is what it is. So with Mega Evolutions, I try and do multiple per day. Um, and we'll just bring this up here, because uh, when you eventually hit, so I'm at the second level right now, so catch candy bonus, boosted ally attacks, five day Mega Evolution rest period, great candy XL chance, candy XP bonus, and greatly reduced Mega Energy. And then when you hit the top one, excellent candy XL chance. So this is how I have been uh, getting XL candies. I've been mega evolving my Pidgeot, because it's a normal typing, to catch Lickitung. I've been mega evolving my Gyarados, with, uh, not Gyarados, my Charizard, uh, which is fully done, actually. Right? I got fully maxed out here so that I get excellent chances uh, for dragons. So that is the easiest way to get XL candy when you're catching. As you mega evolve a Pokemon, build, do these mega evolutions every day as you can, get it so you get excellent XL candy chance. Make sure it's mega evolved when you're catching something and you'll have a good chance of getting XL candies. Uh, so what what Pokemon do you need to focus on? Like I like Charizard because you can make it a fire, uh, flying or dragon. Uh, I'm working on my Gyarados because you just saw dragon and uh, dark and water. I like my Pidgeot for normal. What else can I Mega Evolve here? Um, Gengar, you Mega Evolve for Ghost and Poison. Uh, you can Mega Evolve your uh, Venusaur for Grass. You can Mega Evolve your Obama Snow for Ice and Grass, right? So if you're if you're trying to focus on a specific Pokemon you need XL Candy for, just work on, on having these Pokemon Mega Evolved so that you get those extra bonus candies. So the third thing is getting your buddy excited and walking it. So as you can see, I got my buddy excited. So I'm gonna link uh, in the description below. Uh, and I think I can actually give it more candies now too. So let's just do that. Uh, I can, um, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it below, but basically you can get your buddy excited doing the method without the poffin, which is basically, making sure that you're setting a timer and you're always feeding it, playing with it, um, like taking pictures of it and battling with it and um, walking with it if you can as well. When you do that for two reasons, one, you want your buddy to be excited because it's only half the distance for walking and two, uh, for the XL candies. And then two, it gets you to uh, quicker to best buddy. So with that, I maxed out for the day because I've been grinding really hard for this one. So 48 hearts with your best buddy, Toto becomes best buddy. Um, 
And yes, this will lower your walking requirement and get you more XL candies that way. So uh, again, that is you should always try and get your buddy excited just because it halves the distance for the walking required. And the last one is trades. Uh, and trades are really easy right now because currently we have the season of go on. So where is guaranteed candy XL when trading Pokemon? And this is where I got the majority of my XLs um, recently was because I have been catching and saving everything and I traded all my Scrafties, all my Lickitungs, all my, what else have I, my and ingredients, like I forget the first, the squirrel that I had, the first evolution there. I traded all those to a local buddy uh, for uh, guaranteed XL trades and the normal XL trading is 100 kilometers. When I go back to my hometown of Hamilton, it's 500 kilometers away. So I get together with my buddies and I trade 100 Ottawa Pokemon for 100 Hamilton Pokemon, 500 guaranteed XL trades. That's how I got all my, that's how I got, one, how I got my um, level one Jellicent. I got it from a buddy I traded with, but you're also getting those guaranteed XL, XL candies. So those are the ways that I would suggest going about getting XLs. I think, oh yeah, get that, get that drift. What do we have here? Nothing. Uh, I think catching is the most important, quite honestly, because it affects um, dust and it affects uh, your ability to trade. And I'll just give you a couple examples of like Pokemon that, just to give you an example of how, for me, it's been easier to get XL candies because I just catch everything. So let's just say, Azumarill needs XL candies, caught 500 Meryl and 38 Azus, and with the with the Azumarills, the the first evo like the evolution, you get guaranteed XL candy for catching, right? So 500 there between that between just getting XLs potentially on catching plus trading, there is your easy to get there, um, and then the Metacham here is another XL for. Uh, Great League, same thing. I've caught 580 Metatite and 34 Metacham. So that is how I got that one. Sableye, same thing. Um, I don't know what, where Sableye is. Sableye, 329 caught, right? So trading, catching are the two easiest way. Walking with your buddy, getting excited so it's shorter distance and walking a bunch. Uh, and then this trading, keeping everything you have and trading it to right now locally because it's guaranteed XL. And then if not, you can find uh, like longer distance. The fifth one I'm going to put on here, which I actually not have to, not talked about yet, is going after eggs that you actually care about. So I am only using my free, I, I, so I use my super incubators on 10K and 12K eggs and I use my regular incubator on everything else. I try not to buy it. But right now we have, um, I'm so I'm going to put that up. I, well, I don't want to put up eggs, but so right now in two kilometer eggs, we have Poliwag, which I already have enough XL for, Magikarp, Meditite, like Cubone, like two kilometer eggs right now are bad. They're really bad. We just had a community day down here. I don't really need XL for any of these other Pokemon because I already have them. So two kilometer eggs are useless to me. Five kilometer eggs are also sort of useless for me right now. Um, because like Togepi, I've already got like Grayling and Alter League 4, and I don't need the XLs for Master. The babies here, like I've almost got my own for Wobbuffet for, and then the new three starters there I need. And then the only one that actually interests me is Skarmory on this list because I don't have a Hondo and I don't have the XLs yet. So that would interest me. But for the most part, seven, eight, eight do not interest me, one does. So then I'm like, I hate hatching these two and five kilometer eggs when these are not helping me achieve my XLs that I want for um, for the Pokemon that I need. So then I was looking at seven kilometer eggs and I was like, there's a lot on this list which kind of like, whatever. But there's a lot on this list that I actually do want, like the to get a Berserker, so the Meowth to get a Berserker, like getting the Berserker and I need that. Galarian Stunfisk I need. Uh, Surfetched. I don't think you need it for a Great League. I mean Ultra League. Uh, but the Meowth, you can use that for the you can you can use the Meowth, the A Sand Slash, 
not status test. A Grimer um, is a very, very sneaky pick, but it takes like 296 actual candies to max out. Volpex, you need the Volpex for both if you want to use A Nine Tails and regular Nine Tails if you want to be spicy in Ultra League. Uh, Zigzagoon, if you want Obstagoon in the Ultra League. I don't think you need Excels in the Ultra League, but you need them in the Master League. So there are a lot of Pokemon in the seven kilometer eggs that are interesting to me. So that, that is why I'm always kind of just evolving those. I have, almost forget what's in the 10K. 10K is just kind of like lucky spin. Yeah, like there's a lot on here that I like in 10K. But for me, for me right now, uh, the, the chances of 10K drop is pretty low. And then a 10K drop where I get something like a Dermaka or a Dino or Rufflet or um menfu i've already got so many of those and they're so useless to me like i would want like i like the three k's i need all those three k's and i need all and the five and the four the three again the four but for me the chances of the drop and the chances of getting that are not worth it i'd rather just take my chances with the seven kilometer eggs now so that is another way to try and get um pokemon that you need for um excels so that's how you excels uh let me know if you have any other tips that i may have missed but those are the easiest for me to get excels in this game that you need for uh great league and also league and master league so hope that's helpful uh thanks for watching good luck and i will see you guys in the next one